Hello, hello, hello! In today's video, we will be testing Kirara. We'll test how much value she provides to the team, how strong is her shield, and what multipliers in ICDs does she have. And in the end, we will quickly test her in Spiral Abyss. What is the best way to use support Kirara? Let's find out. Kirara. And finally, finally, after almost 10 months, we are getting Dendra Shielder in the game. Yes, we've got Baiju in the previous update, but Baiju Shield is very weak. It's working more like resistant to interruption, not like a shield. And when I saw Kirara's kit, the first thing that came in mind, if her shield will be at least decent, she will be a good character. Because this will cover one major role that haven't been fulfilled in 10 months. Dendro Shielder. And oh my god, Kirara lived to my expectation and way beyond. And alright, alright, let's look at her shield. Scalings of the shield. And we have two types of scalings, one of them 16% and second 25%. And first I went to the description and oh my whole verse is now lacking to make this long and hard to understand descriptions. And in my country we actually have a phrase for this type of things. If you translate it, it would sound something like this. Can figure it out without battle of vodka. And I think it's perfectly describes this type of descriptions. So we have press and hold version of this skill. And both of them create 16% shield. But how do we make 25% shield? And to make this we need her first accession passive, which create another shield which we'll be adding to our first shield. And basically we need to use hold version, make free attacks and then we can end skill. That's how we reach maximum capacity, that's how I love to use it, because right now it's Spiral Abyss, shield size is matter. But what this 25% plus 2890 means? Is this good, bad or just mid? And to answer this question, let's summon Zhongli. And his shield on level 10 has 23% plus 2712 scaling. And Kirara has higher scaling on level 8. Does this mean that Kirara's shield is better? No, not even close. The main reason because Zhongli's shield is Geo and Geo shield has increased capacity against all elements. Kirara's shield is Dendra and this shield will be better only against Dendra attacks. And Zhongli has the passive that increases shield strength and he can use tenacity of Milliliud. Another important thing, Zhongli has higher base HP. And actually Kirara has pretty high base HP for the 4 star. Sometimes however is doing some dirty thing with HP scaling Fostas. And if we look at Candace's base HP, it's really low. And because her session stat is HP, you just doesn't notice this. And thanks god they doesn't make this to Kirara. And what about other shielders? My Dion is not level up, but her shield is the weakest. And for the Lila, their shield will be plus minus the same if you have C1 and tenacity of Millilith Lila. So right now I think Kirara is the second best shielder in the game after Zhongli. So let's make some practical testing on it. We will be testing the shield on Kitsin. And my Kitsin has 839 armor. We will be testing shield against robots in the first chamber, because sometimes they can do just insane amount of damage. Alright, starting with Kirara's burst. Kirara's hold and creating maximum capacity shield. Go to Kitsin and the shield is destroyed. Yes, Kira's shield is good, but don't be overconfident on it. In some chambers we have really high damage right now. And even with a good shield you cannot face tank everything. So if you can use iframes, use iframes. But if you want to face tank everything and just not dodging, the only shielder in the game that has this privilege right now is Zhongli. But even with him, something like this can happen. Yes. He was one shot. And Kirara's shield benefits doesn't end right here. Kirara has lowest cooldown on her shield activation. 8 seconds with a 12 second duration. Yes, cooldown varies between 8 and 12 seconds, but in most team we wouldn't stay the whole 12 seconds in the cat box form. But even if we stay the whole 10 seconds, the passive will refresh the shield duration. Right now, from all 4 star shielders, we doesn't have any character that provide better shield uptime. Diona has 9 second duration with a 50 second cooldown, which is worst. Lila has 12 second duration with a 12 second cooldown. 
And as expected, Zhongli is the best 12 second cooldown with a 20 second duration. But still, Kira's shield has lowest cooldown. But why is this important? A lot of Dendro teams play quick swap style. So, let's say we applied Kira's shield. We went to Katsin, used her skill, used charge attack, used her burst, used her skill again. And we're going to Kira, and we already can use her shield. And then we can go again to Katsin and start all over again. So the low cooldown is very beneficial for the quick swap style teams. What about scalings and ICDs? Kirari split scaling character and her damage scalings with attack. Which a little bit unfortunate, but we have the passive. Which increase our damage base and our HP, but it's close to nothing. For every 10,000 HP we will increase our burst damage by 4% and our skill damage by 3%. In full HP supper deal this will be nothing. And she has standard ICD on her skill. 2.5 seconds or 3 hits. Pressed version or the last hit of the hold version doesn't have an ICD. And this is good for some Bloom teams with Nilo or some Hyper Bloom teams. And I think with this type of ICD she will find a usage in some future teams as a driver. So no problem here. In my Kirara pooling video I read this comment and there is another thing that I want to test with Kirara. Here we have Kirara and Bennett. Kirara can apply Dendra on herself. Bennett can apply Pyra on active character. And this will trigger burning. And as we know burning deals full damage to our character. And the question is, will this combo affect Kirara's shield? And let's start testing without burning. So, using Kirara's shield. And two rockets deal damage to us. One of them full damage, second 298. Let's remember this number. And now let's do the same thing, but first we use Bennett Burst, triggering burning. Burning reaction triggered. And we took same amount of damage. So no, this type of burning deals zero damage to us. Kirara and Bennett are working perfectly fine. But don't think that Kirara cannot burn herself. She can but like any other Dendro character, because burning has small AOE. But self Dendro application triggering zero damage burning. So, this thing is clear out. And her shield utility doesn't end here. We have unique climbing mechanic. And if we compare this with jump climbing, we are climbing faster, we are spending less stamina, and we was able to climb this wall. While with jump climbing, we was run out of stamina and we fall down. Pretty nice quality of life exploration mechanic. And for the speed. She is slower than other speedsters like Sayu, but she is a little bit faster than regular sprint. And she doesn't use any stamina in this cat box form. So this can be useful. Not the game changer like head guy or Yellen, but still. And now for the burst. And when I first opened the burst I was like, what the hell is this? 912% damage scaling. Excuse me, how that even happened? I mean, yes, previously we had high scaling 4 star characters, as example Lisa. Here we have 974% damage scaling, but it's on level 12. And to activate this you need to gain 3 stacks and hold your skill for a couple of seconds. And with Kirara you just press one button and that's it. We had Heizu who has 910% scaling on level 8, but you still need to gain stacks through swirling. And with Kirari you just press one button and that's it. And not only that, we are creating 6 bombs. And each of them doing a 57% of damage. Which bring up total scaling to 1254% on level 8, on 4 star character. But unfortunately on support build this wouldn't do much. So here we have 39k HP, 1200 attack and 0 elemental mastery. Crit ratio 55, 117, with zero dendra damage bonus. Let's see how much damage this would be. Alright, applying Electra, triggering spread. And now using burst, 90k. Yes, 19k is pretty impressive result for these kind of stats, but right now 19k consider it low damage. And what about bombs? Yes, they are crowd controllable, you can easily activate them with Sucrose or Kazuha and they follow standard ICD. 
Yes, additional dendro application is good, but this is not a reliable source of applying dendro. And how to build support Kirara? And let's start with the weapons. I went for the sub wood blade. C0 Kirara doesn't have a lot of supportive capabilities, and if we can increase them through weapons, this would be perfect. And that's why Subwood Blade is really good choice for her. She can activate passive and buff our carry with elemental mastery. We don't have a lot of supportive weapons in this game, and the second weapon will be Favonius Sword. This weapon will help our team with energy. Additional particles doesn't help Kirara much because we don't need to use her burst every rotation, and her burst costs only 60 energy. For the 5 star weapons, I think Key of Kajuni Suit is her best in slot, because it's only weapon that has HP substat, and Kirara can easily activate passive and buff our team elemental mastery. Another good 5 star weapon is Freedom Sworn. Yes, elemental mastery is kinda useless on support Kirara, but 20% attack buff and increased damage for basic attacks is pretty good. And that's it for the weapons for the support Kirara. I personally use Sub Wood Blade on her. And for the artifacts. And there is one unfortunate thing. In most teams, Kirara cannot use Tenacity of Millilith. She can activate the passive only when she is on the field. But in the most teams, you will use her as off field children. But if you use her as a driver, Tenacity is your way to go. What about other support set? Most popular support set Noblesse Oblige works perfectly fine on her. In Spread Bloom or Hyper Bloom teams, if no one using Deepwood Memories in your team, you can give her Deepwood Memories set. And another set, but this one is questionable. I suggest this set only if you have Key of Kajunisu, because with the Instructor set you will lose a lot of HP and Shield potency. And right now I am personally use Noblesse Oblige on her. And what about Kirara constellations? And yes, her constellation is good, but not so crucial. C1 additional 4 cores for the best, nice additional dendro application is always good. C2 and its co-op constellation, if you don't play co-op, it's useless. C3 additional level on the skill, stronger shield is very very nice. C4 and I think this is her best constellation. We see 4 she gain access to consistent or field dendro application. Yes, it has high cooldown 3.8 seconds, but for aggravate teams it doesn't matter actually. C5 additional level on her burst, good for the damage per screenshot showcases. C6 universal buff for the team with a really easy access. Nice. As I said, her constellation is good, but she works perfectly fine at C0. What about Kirara teams? And basically she is good in any dendro related team. She can work with Alhatem, Yao Yao, Nahida, Nilo, Saina, Tainari Kuki, Ayata, Yeimika, Kitsin, Lisa Razor Beidou, Fischl Singsu. For the team where I would personally use Kirara, it's Kitsin Aggravate with Nahida, Kirara and Sara. Here we have both resonances activated Electra and Dendro. And this team plays quick wap style, which perfectly in lines with Kirara's kit. And let's try this team against everybody's beloved consecrated beasts. Ok, starting with Nahida. Nahida's burst, dodging, Kirara's burst, Kirara's cat box, Sarah's can burst, kill to Kitsin, one charge, burst, and Kitsil's kill again. So, starting quick swapping Kirara again. Nahida. And robots done. So waiting, Nahida skill. Nahida playing Dendro, going to Kirara again. Sara skill on burst. Going to Kitsin. One charge attack. Kitsin burst. And Kitsin skill again. And the good thing with Kirara, every time we swapping to her, her shield is ready. Kirara benefits this playstyle 100%. Consecrated this probably thinking what is going on here, why we're beaten by the cat girls. But this time we are superior beats and we are controlling the fight. So let's finish the last one. Sarah's skill, Kitsin's skill, couple of charge and it's done, nice, perfect. So my thoughts about Kirara. Kirara is what we needed for Dendro. But we needed this early, everybody tired of Dendro right now. Why it took 10 months to make a dendro shield? 
but at least they not screw up her kid and she is surprisingly good. So thank you for the watching, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video.